Let's uh, look at some of the common use cases where Kafka can be used. One, Kafka can be used for messaging use cases. Kafka can be used instead of a more traditional message broker such as IBM MQ, Active MQ, or Rabbit MQ. Kafka has a better throughput than message brokers. Kafka has built in partitioning, replication, fault tolerance, lower end to end latency, and stronger durability. Two, Kafka can be used for log aggregation use cases. Kafka can be used for log aggregation solutions where logs are collected from servers and put in a central location. Compared to other log centric systems like Scribe and Flume, Kafka has a much lower end to end latency and stronger message durability. Three, Kafka can be used for stream processing use cases. Kafka can be used for data pipelines where data is processed, filtered, or refined in multiple stages. For example, raw data from sources can be put into a topic, say let's say topic one, from which the data is processed to normalize and remove duplicates and put in a topic two, which can further be processed to categorize or tag them and put in a final topic, say topic three. Kafka provides a stream processing library called Kafka Streams, which help to perform such data processing tasks. Four, Kafka can be used for event sourcing use cases. Kafka can be used for event-driven architectures where events are tracked as a real-time ordered sequence of events. Low end-to-end -end latency of Kafka helps these systems to be near real-time. Five, Kafka can be used for commit log use cases. Kafka can be used for external commit log for nodes of a distributed system. The commit log helps replicate the data between nodes and resync the data for failed nodes. This is a similar in functionality to Apache Bookkeeper. Six, Kafka can be used for website activity tracking use cases. Events such as page views, user searches, user actions, etc. are captured in Kafka topics. This data is then used for a range of use cases, real-time processing, real-time monitoring, and loading to data lake for offline processing and reporting. Now, let's uh, look at some of the companies that use Kafka and uh, how they use it. LinkedIn uses Kafka for streaming activity data and operational metrics. Uber uses Kafka to power various online and near real-time use cases. Netflix uses Kafka for real-time monitoring and event processing use cases. Adidas uses Kafka for real-time event processing for monitoring, analytics, and reporting solutions. Cloudflare uses Kafka for log processing and analytics pipelines, collecting hundreds of billions of events per day from thousands of servers. Foursquare uses Kafka to power online to online messaging and online to offline messaging. Intel uses Kafka to stream data that sources machine learning models that analyze data and produce new insights. Expedia uses Kafka to drive their event-driven architectures. This was just a small sample of the companies using Kafka. There are hundreds more companies currently using Kafka and the number is increasing every day. So you have made the right decision to learn this awesome technology and you are at the right place to learn it. I will see you in the next lecture where we will learn the core concepts of Kafka. So, hope you found this video useful. And if you want to check out the course, the link to the course is provided in the description below. Visit our website interviewgrid.com where you will find tutorials, courses and interview questions on a wide variety of subjects and topics. 
finally thank you and do not forget to subscribe to this channel since we will be posting new videos similar to this video every week